Everybody, how you doing? Extreme Patriot here. Um, first, I'd uh, like to say that Jeff Bauman is wicked pissa. <laughs> the headline on Mass Hole Sports. Um, yeah, well, I talked about it in my other video about uh, Jeff Bauman. I didn't see it live, but I'm seeing all these pictures now. Jeff Bauman, you know, coming out onto the ice, getting wheeled out there with his stumps looking like they're all freshly bandaged up and uh, whatnot. And the whole place, I, I guess the whole entire rink or, you know, building, Stadium, whatever. Everybody there are complete idiots. Because if you would stand up and support this shit, it's a great story. But that's all it is, is a story. It's a good, feel-good story. But, uh, and if it was true, I'd be giving the guy props. But it's not true. And it's really horrible because you know it's not just a, a a game it's not just a fucking uh, an innocent hoax this shit is this is part of the plan to do away with the second amendment and the rest of the bill of rights i'm getting aggravated because it, i mean people just it, Pulling on the heartstrings, and I, you know, I'm a very sentimental person, and I'm a very caring and giving per giving person. But you know, I'm not a fucking idiot, and uh, I know when somebody's pulling the wool over my eyes. Uh, I've already talked about that before. I mean, I I just can't believe. I really can't believe that my fellow Americans are this gullible. Um. This naive, I mean, you need to see the big picture, folks. This is about doing away with the Constitution. And this piece of shit, Jeff Bauman, you know, Mr. Mister Wicked Pissa, you know, he's a fucking piece of shit. He is a no-good motherfucker who had his legs blown off, or he, excuse me, he had his legs Gone, were gone way prior to this event, put it that way. And he knows what he's doing because he signed a fucking contract of secrecy with the government, FEMA and DHS. And he's out there doing this. That piece of shit needs to be beaten to death with <laughs> his so-called fucking legs that got blown off. What a piece of shit, and fuck you, Boston, you bunch of stupid-ass motherfuckers. What the fuck? God, it's, it's ridiculous. But okay, I digress. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to that in a little bit. First off, I want to say, uh, hey, what's up, brother, to uh, my buddy Joe, Joe Cole Flyer. I appreciate the, uh, the shout-out, brother. Um, had a good time yesterday watching the Derby, and... Uh, you know, have our little wager uh, me you between me you and Thread for Souls. That was that was fun. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Uh, uh but uh, okay. So we got this going on with Jeff Bauman. I was gonna say also that you know I woke up earlier and I decided to <laughs> log on to Facebook to check out what was being said about this uh, Jeff Bauman at the game and everything and. Just like I knew it, you know, they had it up there, uh, the picture of him in a wheelchair. Let me, let me show you here. Bear with me. Where is he? There he is. Look at that hero. There he is. But anyway, I, uh, I logged on to Facebook just to check out, see what was being said. And they had that picture on there. And everybody was like, whoa, what a hero. That is awesome. Oh, God bless him. Oh, my goodness, that is so awesome that the Boston would do that for him and that he has got the courage to come out. So I had to make a comment. Um, 
I can't wait to see um, the responses from it. Actually, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. I had to let people know how fucking stupid they were, and I, I, I bet you I'm just being fucking crucified for it, which I give two shits less, man. That's a fucking joke. Facebook's a joke. Media's a joke. I mean, apparently this whole fucking country's turning it into a joke, I guess. I mean, I mean, all these other countries around the world are looking at us like, what the fuck is going on there? You know? I mean, it's sad. But this guy is a sellout, bought and paid for, piece of shit crisis actor. He should be put in prison for the rest of his life because this is a treasonous act. And it's not just about the little story. It, it's, there's a big picture out there that people need to wake up and see. Because it's not about this. It's not about being mean that the guy blew his legs off. It's about our freedom is what it's about. And the administration in the White House is trying to do away with it. Anyway, uh, you know, I saw something else about uh, <clears throat> Obama. Well, he goes to Mexico for a talk, you know, to get more voting, <laughs> more voters for, or whatever, you know. I mean, he goes down there and he blames American gun manufacturers for Mexican gun violence and whines about the United States Constitution as if it is an impediment to him being able to stop Mexican gun violence. Is this what he is this what we elected him to do? Is this what we're paying him for? To rip us apart to other countries and say how fucked up we are and that because of the constitution that he's unable to help the other people of I mean, this guy needs to go. This guy needs to go to prison. This guy needs to go to prison, even though he's being controlled by the elite powers, he is still the acting president of the United States, and this man needs to go to prison. Yes, he does. He does not care one bit about the American people. And if you believe anything he says, you're a goddamn fucking moron. Okay? That's all there is to it. And then, uh, you know, I got more things. Uh, pictures of crisis actors getting made up like their faces got blown off and shit. I mean, this is a sick world we live in. That shit should be left for the movies. But no, that crosses over into real life. And the movies and the government are like that. Hmm... What else? I know there was some other stuff I was going to talk about, but that was the main stuff for right now. I, got, I just woke up. I slept in late today. I try and get all the rest I can when I can. Um, I'm in a pretty good mood today, even though it's rainy and crappy here in St. Louis again. Um, I'll probably do a few more videos today. Like I said, I really haven't looked at much. I just got up and... Uh, saw that shit about Jeff Bauman, and uh, I just had to get my two cents in, I guess. Uh, and I saw Joe's uh, video and just wanted to, um, you know, respond to that and uh, let him know thanks for the shout-out. And, and uh, I just, uh, you know, sometimes I'm almost speechless. I mean, I guess I got a lot to say, but sometimes it's just hard to put into words here. You're, your frustration and aggravation with this whole thing, and then, you know, more and more people are waking up, but you still have all these blind people, and it's so frustrating. And like I said, I've only known about this shit for about four months now, and I've learned a lot in these four months. And it's, it's a lonely feeling, because you just feel helpless and lonely and secluded because of knowing the truth and how all these other people 
Just deny it. Don't want to know. Think you're nuts. But I'm going to tell you right now. Those are the people that when the shit does hit the fan, they ain't got a fucking prayer. They ain't got a prayer. <laughs> They're going to be at the mercy of their captors. The head of our government. And then they'll, then they'll be awakened and it'll be too late. And that's a shame. But, that's their own goddamn fucking problem. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Um, I'm going to go get me a Jeff Bauman uh, jersey made up. Wear it around town. Wow. Being sarcastic. Anyway, guys, take it easy. I, uh, I'll get back to you later. Take care. Bye.